Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon rising in Venus. It will be from the 28th of February to the 6th of March 2022. Won't be for everybody either, so just take what resonates for you as always. We start with the antelope, decisiveness. Make a decision and take appropriate action. It's a, it's a message for you this week, or certainly for some of you. Clearly, in terms of decisions, with these being general readings, this will be a decision that obviously you'd make the right decision for you. But I feel that Spirit is encouraging a decision to be made. It's almost like a call to action. If you have been on the fence about something, what do we have for Capricorn, please? message for Capricorn oh we see not the right time let go you see that's kind of a message in itself so if someone's telling you it's not the right time to let go of something I mean, clearly these messages come out for a reason, so that would make sense to you if it resonates. I feel that there is a decision, or maybe someone's thinking about making a decision in whatever life area, and it's of letting go of something, but I feel spirit is kind of telling you, and it could well be in a timely thing, it might not be right, the right time. Now, these readings are for seven days only, and clearly you make the decisions that are right for you at the time, but that is the message I have. Okay, what do we have for Capricorn, Angel Spirits, Guides, Overarching Energy for our lovely Capricorns? Thank you. Message for Capricorn. You know, it's not falling on the table, so I think that one is. We have the Ace of Wands, which is a new beginning. The judgment in the challenge position, which generally links with decisions, but this is somebody who might be doubting making a decision, could be the fact that you don't feel it's the right time. We have the Three of Pentacles in the Advice from Spirit and the Page of Cups in the near future. There you are, Capricorn, the Queen of Pentacles. This will be Capricorn for me as a reader, male or female energy, but, you know, the Queen of Pentacles, Earth energy, and in the minor arcana represents the sign of Capricorn for me. We have the High Priestess, listening to your intuition. And the Three of Wands, Bottom of the deck, the Nine of Swords. So Capricorn, there's a new beginning. It might well be however that would manifest for you. The Judgment card can generally be that point in time where there is a decision to be made here. And I kind of feel these cards follow on quite nicely with each other because the judgment card is that point where you're at that threshold of do I give somebody a second chance? Do I forgive somebody? Do I let everything go that's gone between us and really and truly um, give them another chance? Starting that fresh new beginning, full of anticipation and hoping that there's great potential here for growth and success. Or do I, do I move in a different direction? So that is the message here. You might be considering, at that point, do I end something? Or do I give them another chance? Is it worth it? Because that's the Queen of Pentacles attitude. Is it worth my time and energy? Am I going to get abundance from this? Am I going to feel fulfilled from this and value from this? And those are the things that really matter to the Queen of Pentacles. Also, people meaning what they say. You know, she's, there's a real kind of like um, feeling of being honest 
honest with herself, but also honest people. So I, I feel that this is an energy here of, of, from that point of view, what do I want to do? But this is energy of, I'm not ready to make a decision because she's in the challenge position. There is a new beginning here for you and spirit is kind of like waving this around. So there is a new door to open here. Now the Ace of Wands is very much connected to your heart and soul. What does my heart and soul truly want to do? Where do I want to move in a new beginning that is full of potential? Is it with this person? Can we make it work? Or do I move in a new direction? You know, it feels that kind of energy here. Now, this could be in relationships. This could also be, you might be considering, you know, a th something in terms of money, career, finances. So, you know, the Ace of Wands can be a new opportunity. It can be something exciting, something absolutely connected to your passions and desires. It works very well in love, you know, getting that spark, that chemistry in terms of love, the very beginnings or renewed beginning of, of a new path. You know, this is, and it promises real growth. You can see those leaves are sprouting. This can equally be in other areas. So money, career, finances, property, and so on and so forth. A significant decision to make here. But there's a kind of feeling this week. And remember, seven days only. Spirit is telling you it might not be the right time. Or you could read it the other way here with this with this energy. You you might be telling yourself it's not the right time to make a decision right now, but I feel spirit might be, you know? Because, you know, this is generally action through a new door. So however this resonates for you, Capricorn, you could read this kind of message either way. We have the High Priestess and the Three of Pentacles. This is about teamwork, collaboration, partnerships. So... Deep down, the High Priestess is telling you, you already know what you need to do. You already know the answers to your questions. You already know what you're guided to do, your soul truth, how to move forward and rebuild. Now, how that manifests for you, Capricorn, this is very good in terms of money and career. So for some of you, it might well be making some assessment or decision in terms of considering potentially a new opportunity with a new team, a new structure. It might well be if you've questioned whether you wanted to stay where you are. So for some of you, there may well be some kind of inkling you're getting from within, your inner knowing, your instinct is telling you, this is the direction I need to move in now. Because this is the very beginnings of of success, the Three of Pentacles, but it can be about teamwork, collaboration, partnerships. And if you don't feel that you you fit in with the team as well as you would like to, it might well be that there's a new opportunity coming your way that helps resolve the situation for you, that allows you to move to a new path. Now, this can also be about, again, just some kind of, can we come together? Can we meet in the middle? Can we make this work between us if we both put the effort and we work towards that common goal? Uh, that is very good in terms of relationships, projects, that kind of thing. So have, however that resonates for you, Capricorn, again, your intuition is guiding you in terms of how you move forward and what you truly want to do. Because this is a feeling of assessing something. But deep down there is a truth within you that is kind of trying to shine through here and guide you. We have the Page of Cups. So a little message maybe for some of you. Now the Page of Cups is always, it, it can be quite sometimes an unexpected thing. So whatever this opportunity is, if it's to do with money, career, finances... It might well be something good coming your way that helps you release from some kind of stress, anxiety, worry. 
For some of you, Capricorn as well, it might well be that you're uncertain about the future of your place at your place of work or the future of something in some way. And there is an energy of, yeah, I really need to take action in this new direction now because I feel that's where I'm guided to be. And the message is your ship is coming in. So if you're uncertain, if your intuition is telling you something about where you work, your team structure, how things might be changing in some way and give you some kind of uncertainty or stress, then I feel for some of you there is the energy if I need to turn my back on this and focus positively on what steps I need to take towards bringing in some new opportunity if there's uncertainty of where you are. And there is a message here in the near future of something positive and unexpected coming your way that is looking good, very much connected to your passions and desires here. Now, again, in terms of love, romance, relationships, this is, I'm uncertain about this. This is somebody who is stressed, worried, anxious, but there is a message here, a message, a desire. I feel for some of you, there is a kind of feeling here of things beginning to look optimistic. It might well be for you, for you Capricorn, that there is some kind of patient energy that you need to adopt this week, because I feel certainly if it's a love thing or a relationship thing, or even a friendship thing. You might need to just take your time here to see how you want to progress this, you know, um, because sometimes this can be the energy of your ship is coming in, but it can also be the ship has sailed because someone isn't certain about the future. So I feel in that circumstances, that's why spirit is telling you deep down, you'll know what you need to do in the near future regarding maybe love, romance, relationships, but it might not be something that you rush at. So I'm going to, I'm going to pull an extra card. Yeah, I don't really need to. I pre-shuffle before every reading and I have the six of what swords. So this is a really lovely energy to finish the reading because Spirit is telling you here, whatever you decide, soon the worst is going to be behind you and you are moving to better times. And that is either a, a material thing, a commercial thing, or it can be in terms of love, romance, relationships. Now this can be the energy of healing, if it's relationships. Let's put everything behind us. Let's let go of the past and move forward with new optimism and clarity and lessons learned. Now, there also is an energy here, Capricorn, of cord cutting. So again, it just feels for some of you, if it's to do with love, romance, relationships, Spirit's telling you maybe you need to dwell on this a little bit more because this is an energy of, am I optimistic? Has it had the ship sailed? Is it coming in? It's just this feeling of some kind of uncertainty and being too much in your own head at the moment. So it might well be that somebody needs greater perspective. Greater perspective, the six of swords, equilibrium in the mind in terms of how to truly move forward. And that's going to come to you. And that's what spirit is telling you. And this is transformative. It brings positive change. Okay, final message for Capricorn. Final message. For, oh my goodness. When we talk about transformative, we have the magic card. Believe in magic. Open your eyes and see the magic that's all around in nature. The fairy of the northern light says you are part of nature, so you are magical too. It's such a lovely reading, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do like, share, subscribe, hit that bell to receive future notifications. I'd greatly appreciate that. And I will see you next time.